you doing everybody today we are here at high point state park and we're going to do a review of the go sun go solar powered grill so we have ample sunlight we're going to give it a test let's see how it goes so there's the go sun go grill it's a portable solar powered uh grill for cooking when you're camping or just in this case a little picnic so we're going to give it a good test i'm going to open it up I'll show you what it looks like okay so i opened up the go sun go so that way you can see what the inside looks like and what it comes with so it's open i have the spreader bar keeping it open this is your food chamber here with your solar calibrator basically what you do is you line that up with the sun it comes with a cleaning brush for cleaning the inside it comes with these little silicone liners for depending on what kind of cooking if you're doing baking and whatnot you can line the food chamber it comes with this stand here which is for if you're boiling water so you can set it vertically as opposed to horizontally and then here is your food chamber now it's narrow you're not going to put large things in there but we're going to cook hot dogs today and i think this will be perfect for it so we're going to set that up and see how it works so i've got it set up uh, right in the path of the sun, although I'm blocking it at the moment, but I will move over. We're going to use Nathan's hot dogs, only the best hot dogs. So it, it says it takes about 20 minutes to cook the hot dogs. So I'm going to open up the package, throw them in, time 20 minutes, and see how they come out. Okay, so the hot dogs are in the chamber. Now we're going to insert the chamber into the stove itself. To, pardon me, lock that down. Gonna get out of the way and let it do it this thing. So just as I set up the solar stove, we get these big passing clouds above us. Which is okay. You can actually they say you can cook in even rainy dark weather, it just takes a lot longer. So they're saying it's gonna take about 20 minutes. I am setting the timer for 25 minutes just to add some extra time for those in and out passing clouds. And we're gonna get hopefully some great results. So we're gonna pull the hot dogs out. The timer has gone off. We had to give it a little extra time because of the clouds coming in and out. As soon as you open it, you can smell them. And they are hot. So we've got some hot dogs that are done. warm but not hot if we would have left them in longer I think it would have been fine um, we're also in very windy situation which really shouldn't affect it but it's very windy up here on the hill um, slash base of the mountain uh, but it did work the hot dogs cooked and like I said I think if we just left them in longer we did them for about 35 minutes but we did have a lot of uh, cloud cover come through so we weren't getting that consistent sun and like i said they tell you you can cook in complete cloudiness but it just takes longer that 20 minute time that they say from full sun goes to an hour so we probably should have let it go longer but it did work and that's what i gotta say on that thanks for tuning in if you liked the video like and subscribe